Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership. Three strings, cigar box, guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is I Drink Alone, George Throwgood. Um, we're heading into the holiday season. We're also heading into my fourth anniversary, so we'll try to do something special there. But in relation to the holiday season, we've got, you know, T-shirts, long sleeves. They're really nice. I run in mine, so uh, they're really, really nice. Uh, great Christmas gifts, things like that. So check out the links below. I do have a link to an Amazon page, and it shows you the gear that I use, the actual stuff I use when it comes to amplifiers and speakers and all of these different things that are sometimes confusing to people that are new. You can take a look at that. All of those things on my gear recommendations are things I have actually used, not anything that I'm just promoting it because I know it might help you. Um, I don't get anything from this. In fact, you don't have to buy nothing from down there. So I'm just saying, I just want to help you find the gear that'll make you inspired to play more. Um, also on my website, with the links down below, I have some, uh, some virtual lessons. Uh, so you will get lessons from me. These are workshops, intermediate cigar box guitar, uh, beginner cigar box guitar, slide. You know, learning those techniques to be able to play these smoothly and cleanly. That's really, really important is to learn the proper techniques to move forward in your playing career or just your playing enjoyment, getting the enjoyment out of that. So take a look at this. Plus I have a lesson series called Boogie Woogie and if you never experience the uh That is just so fun to play, and we go over all of that. So it's like having a personal lesson between me and you. Check out my workshops. All right, I work, I, uh, I drink alone. So this is my interpretation, and down below I have a companion video, and you can check out the link. George and the Delaware Destroyers, cool stuff, really cool stuff. So what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24, those are my gauges. These are electric guitar strings, they are wound. I am playing through a Roland Mini Cube and I'm on batteries and I'll show you those settings at the end of the video. I really, really love these Roland Mini Cubes. I really do, of all of the, the small, practice amps that are battery powered. The Rollins are my my personal favorite and I just saw one used the other day for 80 bucks. So they're out there. Just you got to just look for them. Okay. So this song operates with three chords. So just three. So if you were doing this um, the easiest way possible, you would just sit here on your E 7th fret. G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, very important chord. C sharp, D, very important chord. D sharp and E. E is on the ninth fret, it's also that dot right there. You could do this song one finger. I drink alone, yeah, with nobody else. You know when I drink alone, I prefer to be 
by myself. Right? So that's basically the three chords. E, C, and D. And you only use the C and the D on that chorus. The lyrics all run through this E chord. You just sit there and the other night before sleeping, I woke from a terrible dream. I caught up with my pal Jack Daniels and his partner Jimmy Bean. So that's really what you're doing. But it's way more complicated than that because I've got this rhythm going. It's a, I think of it as a Bo Diddley rhythm. Um, and what you're doing is, is you're muting down and pulling up. At the same time you're doing that, you're pressing down and letting up. And so I want to show you pressing down and letting up doesn't mean letting go. It just means letting up. So, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, down, and now you're going to press up, down, up. And you're not raking, right? You're not, you're going in one motion. Your beginners are going to find this find this very difficult. I found it very difficult. And all of a sudden, if you do it long enough, you're going to really get a handle on it. So don't give up. Don't ever give up on this technique. Also, I go over this in my boogie woogie lessons, this, this palm muting plus my intermediate um, this is a solid intermediate rhythm. So if you're brand new to the instrument and you want to get this, remember, just take your time. It will occur and it will happen and you will get it. But it does take perseverance and it does take work. Uh, I don't want to tell you that it's completely easy, but I don't want to tell you it's impossible either. It's somewhere in between easy and impossible. And there's lots of gradient variations in there as well. So I want you to just remember, down is off, press, up. That is the key. Now, the next thing I want you to learn about this song is I want you to take this E chord, toss it out the window. We're going to play it a different way. So I'm going to take my slide and put it down for a second. So I'm going to put my first finger here on that second fret of the D string. That's an E note. My third finger I'm going to put on the fourth fret of the G and my pinky on that high G. Okay? Now that is a wonderful, wonderful chord because it opens up so many possibilities. The possibilities it opens up is I can play this note. I can play a lot of notes using this shape. And I like to call playing notes within a shape chord noodling. You're not leaving the shape per se but you're working with around these notes. So I've got that A, I'm already on the B. I can play open D, I can play the E, okay? So I can start playing. So there are a lot of possibilities in here. They're endless, truly, and I'm working on lots and lots of songs that just sit down here. Another little note that works with that is that little note right there. That little hammer-on works in this scenario. So. And it's just like my lesson with Love Me Two Times. Okay? 
So it has that aspect to it. I don't use this in my interpretation of it, but you can. Uh, what I do is, uh, and I want to show you what I'm actually doing. I'm pressing down and pulling. This is what I call an active hammer-on. It doesn't require anything from your right hand. Down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. And I do, I do a little circle um, every time I try to uh, figure out what I'm doing here. I do this little circle. So what I'm doing is, is using the rhythm. Right? So you're playing with the rhythm and then putting those notes in. You're kind of like adding things. So like I said, it can be easy or it can be more complicated depending on your skill level and exactly your interpretation of how you want to play this tune. When I put my slide on my finger, it changes the fingers I have to use. All of a sudden now, my E chord is the same first finger, my second is on the B, and my third is here. takes a lot more time to work out exactly what I want to do in there using these fingers. If you put your slide here, your pinky is going to end up there. And then you have to use your pinky here. I play my slide here. I used to put it here. Billy Gibbons puts it there. Same with Gary Rosington. So, you know, there are people that put it in their first finger. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as you can reach the notes you want. So the C and the D. So you can see through. I'm on that fret. And when I end this tune, I just go C, D, E, C, D, E, C, D, E. I do A. And then I do one of these thorough good things. And all I'm doing is starting from somewhere and going like so. So that's what I am doing here. So uh, thank you so much for everything you do for me. Um, I do have links. I do have links to the songbook. Check this out. There's great songs. Learn to sing and play. It's really important. It's a great Christmas gift. Um, we also have it on Kindle, so you don't have to buy the, the copy. You can get it on Kindle. Um, thank you so much for everything you do for me. Like I said, we're going on four years, and it's just been amazing, and I, I really can't thank you enough. Uh, these are my settings on the cube. My gain is straight up. My tone is almost three quarters. I kind of like that. Uh, so just to show you, I'm on the Brit combo and I got a little bit of reverb. Um, other than that, pretty simple explanation on, on tone. And uh, like I said, thank you so much and check out the t-shirts and all the cool stuff. So really, thank you for everything you do for me. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you.